Dr. Lechleiter, you're here in uh, Britain to talk to officials about health care reform. Um, why is that um, a concern to you? What issues um, are particularly going to affect your business? And why is this an important market for you? Well, I think much as uh, I like to say our industry is at a crossroads, I think in many ways the UK uh, happens to be at a crossroads right now as, as there's uh, much discussion within the government about uh, reforming the National Health Service and making in the next several years some significant changes. Uh, mm -hmm. Among those would be a new way of uh, pricing medicines, uh, very different from the system that uh, has been used here for decades now. And we're, we're engaged uh, in discussions and, and in a dialogue that we hope will help shape that process so that the true value of the innovative medicines that come from our laboratories is not only recognized through pricing, but also made available to patients here uh, in the UK through the National Health Service. And we expect this is going to be a process that will play out over the next several years. But obviously uh, across Europe, uh, situations are different in, uh, in each country. Uh, we felt the impact, our industry has felt the impact in the last year of, of the economic crisis as, as our prices have been uh, reduced in countries like Greece, Spain, uh, Ireland and, and others. Uh, obviously, we want to ensure that as these uh, uh, short term uh, uh, as, as measures are taken to deal with, with the short, short term, hopefully short term problems occasioned by the economic crisis that we uh, don't threaten the long term underpinnings of, of, of our industry. We, we know we need more innovative medicines. We, we believe we can demonstrate the value of those medicines and ultimately uh, for, for more medicines to come from our labs, the value of those medicines need to be rewarded in, in, with, with prices and, and reimbursements that, that really reflect that value. Mm -hmm. And your business, your, said your strategy in the future is focusing on innovation in-house rather than buying up other companies and other drugs to drive revenue. And you're facing uh, several drugs that are going off patent. Um, how can you be so sure that the things you're doing are going to produce future blockbusters? Allison, t today we have uh, nearly 68, nearly 70 uh, medicines in some stage of clinical development across our, our pipeline. We continue to believe uh, that investing in our pipeline, investing in new innovative medicines, uh, it, it represents the, the very best opportunities for our shareholders uh, in the long term. Now, even as I say that, as we invest more than $4 billion in R&D, uh, probably about half of that is spent on investments outside of our laboratories. So like never before, we're partnering with universities, uh, with biotech companies and, and, and others uh, to extend, essentially as extend our R&D reach to take advantage of ideas and resources as we might find them really anywhere in the world. So there's a very new approach that we're taking to doing R&D. We believe this is gonna be more productive. Uh, we believe uh, uh, breakthroughs in biology give us a chance, give us the the, the belief that uh, many of these molecules in our pipeline will be successful and valued medicines. So you're ruling out big acquisitions for the future. Allison, we continue not to be interested in big acquisitions, in large-scale combinations. This business is all about the productivity of our research laboratories. We believe that the investment Lilly makes today, more than $4 billion, uh, is sufficient to fund uh, uh, the, the research output that we'll need. Thank you very much.